Welcome to OMT Review QBank. If you purchased the OMT Review book, this video tutorial will show you how to access your OMT questions inside our website. The first thing you need to do is make sure you sign up with a free account. So if you have not signed up yet, click on the join now and sign up for a free account. You can pick Complex Level 1 or Complex Level 2, depending on which exam you're studying for. Put in your email and password and click create account. You're going to get a message that tells you to verify your email. Go to your email address and click the activation link to be able to log in. Once you get into your email, if you don't find the verification email in your inbox, please click on the spam option to activate your account. You can click not report not spam so that you can get emails from us. Click on verify now to activate your account. Now you can log in. Type in your username, which will be your email and your password. You're going to arrive at the dashboard and you're going to see a blinking button on the top left corner. Click on this button to unlock your 364 OMT questions. When you first receive your book, open the book and on the front cover, you're going to notice a section right here that has a scratch off label. Use a coin or your nail to scratch off the scratch off label and be very careful so you don't scratch off the code under it. Go to omtreview.net, which is going to reroute you to omtreview.com to be able to apply the code. Type in your code and click apply now. Once you unlock your question bank, click on QBank. This allows you to be able to access the 364 OMM questions. Click how many questions you want to generate and click generate test. You can answer the questions here. And if you want to pause the QBank, you can click pause QBank. And this takes you back to where your exam list is. And you can always resume the questions anytime. You see here where you have your performance analysis on each subject. In this case, you're only going to be able to see the OMM questions, except you unlock the full QBank. We strongly recommend that you unlock the full QBank to gain access to 2,700 questions that are currently present inside the Complex Level 1 QBank. And if you're studying for Complex Level 2 QBank, there's over 2,400 questions. In order to be able to unlock the full QBank, you have to click on the Buy Now button, which is going to reroute you back here. And you can pick whether you want to subscribe to Complex Level 1 or Complex Level 2. You can purchase it at just the QBank or a bundle pack that contains OMM flashcards and OMM videos. Once you upgrade your account to a full access, in this case, this is a full access to the entire question back flashcards and video section. You'll be able to see your score report progress right here on your dashboard. The total number of questions you've attempted and the total number of unused questions. Also, you always have options to be able to purchase any other of our products. Your cumulative performance analysis shows you your own performance compared to your peer performance who are your other colleagues take in the question bank. And this shows you the data for how many total correct and incorrect questions or total incomplete questions you have left in your question banks. If you also made any changes while you're doing your questions, either noticing that you're changing correct to incorrect answers or incorrect to correct or incorrect to incorrect answers, you're going to be able to see the data here. To access the full QBank, Click on QBank. Now there's a few options. You have an on time, time mode, and tutor mode. And you also have a question mode where you can either do all your questions, new questions, marked, incorrect, or used. In order to be able to select just one subject, you can click toggle all to be able to access the entire QBank or click it one more time and then you can pick the microbiology questions. Or if you just want to do all questions in random, you can select how many questions you want to do. You can select total number of questions and click generate test. The question bank looks exactly like the ex complex exam that you're going to be taking. So this gives you no surprises on the test date. You have an option to be able to highlight in your Q bank. Okay. And you also can cross out options based on incorrect answers. When you select your answers, you get a full explanation and tells you what percent of st students are answering these correct questions correctly. You also have a full detailed explanation of correct and incorrect answer choices, including references and educational objectives. You have the option to be able to highlight, and you can also take notes 
in this section. If there's a typo or grammar, you click the submit button and we can make changes as a feedback to our question bank. As you can see, every question has a detailed explanation and you can make a comment. You can mark a question, which means if you click on the review option, you're going to be able to see the questions you've clicked on marked, incomplete, and complete. When you want to end your question bank, you click end the question bank. And here you'll be able to see the total number of exams that you have done. And it also shows you your score once you have actually completed the question bank. In order to access your performance analysis, click on performance analysis. And this gives you your entire score in each category from anatomy all the way down to nephrology. You can also see your performance with relationship to your peers. And you can see the correct, incorrect, and the total number of questions that you've attempted in each block. In order to access our OMM videos, click on the video section and here you can see each video is categorized by the chapter in the OMT review book. In order to access the entire video section, you don't have to go back, just click on this drop down button and you'll be able to access each chapter individually. You have the option to be able to increase the speed of the video up to two times the speed of the video and you can see it on mobile, standard definition, or high definition, and also in full screen mode. In order to access our flashcards, very easy. Just click on flashcards. You can see these are your flashcards. You can use the space button to start the flashcard to flip the flashcards, okay? So when you do your flashcard, you have the option to say if you got the question right, no, I was wrong, or not sure. This allows you to keep track of the contents that you already mastered and things that you need to review. So we have this define restrictive barrier. You can click here to flip the flashcards. And if you got it right, you click, yes, I got it right. And it basically categorizes it is for use in the yes section. If you click on the next one and you flip it and it says tenderness and you say you am not sure, you can click not sure and basically add this to the not sure section. If you skipped it, you go to the skip section. And if you select, you can click on this to also flip the flashcard and you say no I was wrong and you have the option to be able to basically filter by just the questions that you just want to learn about so in this case if you just want to review the question that you say you says no I was wrong now you can just see the flashcards that are individually listed if you have any questions you can contact us if your medical school would like to subscribe for a full package fill out your information and we'll reach out to you and if you have any question regarding the Q bank the videos all the flashcards Please feel free to shoot us an email in this section and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.